So we are going to solve problem 3.60 from Sadiku book and the question is calculate the power dissipated in its resistor. So we have four resistor here, one, two, three, four, and I will use mass analysis. So let's draw the loops. Let's name this loop number one and let's name this loop number two and let's name this loop number three. So here, let's start at loop number one, or we can start from the easiest first. Here we have loop number three, and this is a current source, a dependent current source, and the value is 0 0.5 times I0. So the current of I3, okay, let's, let's make it like this loop 3 I will have this I3 it will be the same as this current source value so it is become 0 0.5 I0 and if we look here I0 is the current that goes here and I1 is the current that goes to the opposite direction so i0 is equal to minus i1 so i will have this equation and i can substitute this into this and that will be i3 is equal to minus 1.5 i1 or here we can multiply both sides by 2 yeah and that become 2 i3 is equal to minus i1 or I can make it i1 is equal to minus 2 i3 okay loop 1 is a loop 3 is done so let's do loop number one and loop number two. Let's do loop number one. We start at this one ohm resistor and the only current that pass through it is this I1. So I1. One multiplied by I1 is I1 and we move on to this four ohm resistance plus four and I multiply it by I1 but here I3 is flowing to the opposite direction so I will have minus I3 and now we move on to this voltage source the current is flowing from positive to negative so the sign will be positive and the value is 56 and that will equal to zero and now I will have this value 5 I1 minus 4 I3 plus 56 is equal to zero and I can substitute I1 to this one so I will have 5 multiplied by minus 2i3 minus 4i3 plus 56 is equal to 0 and I will have this all of this minus this minus 10 minus 4 minus 14i3 plus 56 and that will equal to 0 and this will make I3 is equal to 4 ampere. Now we get our first current. And the implication of this is I1 is equal to minus 2 times 4. It is minus 8 ampere. And now we only need to find I2. Let's do it by using loop number two. 
let's erase the book. Okay, at loop two, we can start at this voltage source. So the current is flowing from negative to positive and the sign will be minus. 56 is the value and then plus 8 ohm multiplied by I2 minus I3 is flowing to the opposite direction. So minus I3 and plus this 2 ohm resistor. The only current that passed through it is I2. And then now we can substitute this I3 into this equation. So we'll have minus 56 plus 8 I2 minus 4 plus 2 I2. And this will equal to 0. And here we will have minus 56 plus this one become 10 I2 minus 32 and that will equal to 0 or 10 I2 is equal to 56 plus 32 and that will be 88 or I2 is 8.8 .8 ampere. So we will have these three currents, I1, I2, and I3. Now we can find the power dissipated in its resistor. Let's clean the board and let's do that. So now we need to calculate power dissipated in its resistor. And for it, we can use this formula, voltage times current or voltage squared divided by resistance or the current squared divided by not divided, multiplied by resistance. So I will use the last one, this last formula to calculate all of this. So now we start at this one ohm resistor. So I will have the, the only current that pass through it is I1. So I1 is minus 8. And that will be squared multiplied by the resistance 1 ohm. So the power dissipated in this resistance is 64 and the unit is 1. And now we move on to this 4 ohm resistor. And the power is the current squared, the current that passed through I. For resistor, 4 ohm resistor is I1 and I3. So I will have I1 is minus 8. And I3 is going to the opposite direction. So I will have minus 8.8. .8. And this will be squared multiplied by 4. And let's leave this into our calculator. So we'll have minus 8 minus 8.8 .8 squared multiplied by 4. And that will equal to that number. 1128.8. Ninety-six watt, and let's move on to the add ohm one. So here we have I three and I two that flowing to the opposite direction. So I will have, so I will have I two. 8.8 .8 and I3 to the opposite direction minus 4 squared multiplied by 8. This is 8. And let's leave this to the to our lovely calculator. Minus 4 squared multiplied by 8. So I will have 
this value 184.32 what and finally add to ohm resistor we will have the power will be the only current that pass through it is i2 so i2 is 8.8 8.8 squared multiplied by 2 and that will be 8.8 .8 squared multiplied by 2 and i will have 1500 no 144.88 so here is our final answers and hopefully i did not make any mistakes in the calculation and thank you for watching